Okay, welcome. Um, I'm a little bit early, so we will um, wait to see who comes on, but I thought I would welcome you with my face. Normally, you just see my hands, and so I'm excited to be doing the live YouTube um, Zentangle uh, class today, and um, I, I have some support team that um, is sitting behind me. Yeah, you can see my husband back there. He's my support team, and he's going to be monitoring as we go. Um, so if you have questions or you want to know something, type them in. And if you've ever watched a, a live one, I it absolutely drives me crazy when the person's trying to teach something and then they're trying to read comments. It just doesn't work. So my husband's going to be he might, he might say something in the background and then I can answer a question so he can read those comments and um, help us out. And he may even answer them. So uh, we're going to start with Elegant is the name of the tangle we're doing today. And it's by Tangle Dream. And I'm going to get my camera ready and set to go. So, oh, I have to say I was um, just at some friend's house that we were um, our, our spinning group. And um, they said they're all going to watch. So I'm going to say hi to all my spinners. So you guys can spin and and you don't need to pay attention to what I'm doing unless you love Zentangle, which everybody should. So I'm going to move my camera around so that you can see my face. And so yeah, I don't make you dizzy. I'm going to cover it up. And there we have the camera located on the drawing so we can see what we're doing. And these are the ones I've been working on. Um, this is elegant and I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it. And it, I saw it done as just a border um, like this on, on a tile. And, um, and then I did it and just added it to a bookmark and then I did it freehand, so it was lots of, um, lots of them kind of mingled together. And then I thought, oh, I bet I could do it in the round. And I loved it in a, on a round tile in the border, and just on gray tiles and on brown tiles. So we're going to move these to the side, so that we can get out our um, bookmark. And I'm going to start on a brown bookmark. And um, we'll, I'm going to have to move the camera just a tad. Looks like lighting is okay. No, Always. Somebody's saying there's no sound. Oh, there's no sound? Okay. I've got, I've got sound on mine. Okay. Um, Tracy said there's no sound, Tracy. I My mic is on. It, you might want to check your device to see if the sound is on on your device. But um, so... Oh, she has sound now. So she's doing good. So here we go. We're going to draw on a bookmark. And we're, no, I just changed my mind. And I'm going to do on a white one. You know, that's that's the beauty of going live. You can change your mind. So we're going to start with Elegant by Tangle Dreams, is who um, uh did the step outs for this tangle. Oh, and it's, for me, it's upside down. Let's see if I, oh, okay, did that just like make everybody dizzy? I just um, changed it so it's upside down. Did that drive you all crazy? Sorry. There now, now it's right for me. I'm not drawing upside down. So we're gonna start and we're gonna start at the, I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up and I'm going to just draw what I call just like the first part of Mooka. So if you're familiar with the Tango Mooka, you know how much I love that. And then we're just going to come around and it's going to be the larger Mooka. I think it's Maria's design of Mooka. And then come down and I'm going to join right together. So there we have our I'm going to come in a little bit so you can see our large mooka. And now we're going to come again. 
and I'm going to come up and I'm going to draw another one just underneath that one. And then it's going to come down and then I'm going to draw a third one. And I'm not going to even lift my pen off my paper. So I have three that are kind of standing in a row. And um, there's my first elegant, but elegant is when it's all put together. So now I am going to come from the opposite side and come around, do my mooka, follow back down, then come back up and do another mooka. And you notice I'm going really slow as I draw so that they are, they kind of connect and it's just, I just get a, a smoother what? Okay, you know when you do live, you can do them backwards. I did this wrong. So instead of coming off of here, I should have come off of the back of here. So this is live. What do you do? You make the best of it. So we're, I'm going to come this way. So we're going to come off the back side and then come around. So they go opposite each other. And I'm going to show you how there's no mistake in Zentangle, only opportunity, and we're going to make an opportunity out of this one. So you can see it's going to form kind of an S shape. And there we have our three. And they're, they're not always the same size. Here we're going to do again. Remember, I'm going to come off the back side of here, not the front side, the back. And I apologize for anyone who is in um, Canada or the UK for me using that terminology. I have a friend who comes to my Zentangle class and she informed me that same um, coming off the opposite side or uh, using the word, I'm not gonna use it because she said it's not a very nice terminology in, um, in the UK, they don't, or in Canada, it, it says slang, and, and I apologize for that. I just remember, in the United States, we can say your backside, and it just means the opposite of the front. It doesn't mean anything derogatory. So now I have it, but you see, I've got a little, where I have mine both going the same direction. I'll show you what I would do to fix that. I'm gonna come up, and I'm just gonna come off of this side again, and I'm going to add another elegant here. So that it's coming off that other side. So I just get another look. And I could add um, several if I wanted to, just to correct that, you know, uh, what I would call a um, mistake or um because there's no mistakes, we just draw on. So I'm just going to show you how I would keep going to fill that in. I'm just going to draw another elegant and just fill in some of these spaces. with it so I can just draw on. I'm gonna set this one aside and we're gonna to go to a round tile and then I'm gonna come back and finish this one off just so I can show you what you would do if you had a round tile. So here is a gray round tile. And just so that I can keep my elegant going in the right direction, I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna draw me a border around my outside and you can see it's not it's not real even or close I mean you know it's it's not perfect at all and we're going to start by drawing our elegant it's going to come up and I'm going to make my little um, round circles they're going to line up fairly close 
to um, my on my line that's going around. Now remember, I'm not coming off of this side. I'm coming off of this side, and it's going to come up, kind of make that round design, then come back. Kind of gives it that curve, that lacy look that I want it to have. And then I'm going to come back in and blend in that pencil line. Again, I'm going to come up and around. And work my way around this round tile. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in because my husband's going to kind of read them and call them out and let me know so I can answer some questions. That's why we're doing it live, is that we get an opportunity to maybe chat with each other. But he's being really quiet over there. Janet Simmons has got me on her big screen at at her house. And you can see that I'm just working my way around, always coming off from the round curve. I want to come off of that side so that I form that S shape. And these don't have to be perfect. And you're wondering, how am I going to know if I'm going to end up um, with enough space. You know, I never really worry about that. I, I'll worry about that when I get closer to my ending. I'm gonna miss my, my music that I normally play. Okay, and now I have my last one. It's going to come up, and I'm just going to work it into that little bit of space. So it just kind of joins in, and I don't think you're really going to notice because what we're going to do next is I'm going to do... Oh. Okay, I could hear myself echoing back from... Um, I'm going to aura this. And I find whenever I, I don't like something or I think it needs something, I aura. So I'm just going to write an aura or echo around. You see, I've got two round tiles right there stuck together. We're just going to aura around the outside of Elegant. That's one thing we can do. I'm going to come back to this tile where I think, oh, maybe I wanted to give up on that. But we're going to just um, come back and see what we can do. If you were in any of my other classes, they would know that I am crazy about circles. So I am just going to draw some orbs, diminishing orbs in this, along these lines. So just, I'm just going to pick some spaces and just draw some little orbs that are diminishing which means they get smaller. And then sometimes I will do orbs that are just different sizes. On mine, I wanna come down here and I'm going to do some orbs here.
And now we have, um, you know, for me, there's just not the drama that normally happens in a tangle. So I'm going to echo this shape right here with some striping. So I'm going, just going to stripe that inner space right there. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to shade it. Because this is going to give it the drama that your tangle needs. And you can leave a little sparkle or not. And I'm choosing not to leave a little sparkle, which is kind of different for me. Because I'm going to come back and show you what you can do if you don't have a sparkle. Sparkle is, if you haven't watched one of my videos before, is when you leave a little space... Like that, it's just a little light space. You come in a little bit so you can see. You just leave a little light space and that you don't color in, but I'm gonna color those in because I'm not gonna leave that little sparkle here. And I always start at the top and work my way to the end so that I know I come out right. And you can see how that's just given that, this whole thing is gonna have a little bit more drama. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here. And it's a little smaller. And usually on my videos, I can like speed this up. But since we're live, we get to just watch me color in. And apparently there must not be any questions or even any comments. because yeah, there, There's none that are showing up right now. Because I have a whole bunch, Doug. Really? Uh -huh. I can see them on my screen. I can't see them on my They've stopped coming. So we're just going to echo those in, color those in along here. Oh, I left it a sparkle and I don't want a sparkle. I'm just going to fill those in. You know, and as you get older, you don't see as well. And I need to cover those up. So that's what you can do. Now you can also come back and aura this whole thing. So which I love it. When, after I've done my circles, I can come back and I can add my aura on here. And I can do some shading. So we're going to shade just this bottom part. And I'm going to actually um, take a my pencil and I'm going to add a little shading in these little bumps right here. I'm not going to shade up further because I'm going to add, I usually like to um, shade the end and so my hand doesn't go over the top of it. We're just going to take our shading stump, our blending stump and Blend so we get some shading because that's really what makes that Zen tangle for me. Just kind of gives it that art look. Okay, I've got some little spaces right here in between, and I'm going to echo that little space and fill that in. That is just an extra thing that I could do just to add drama, and I'm going to go ahead and or around here or echo around and you can see how because we added the little um, orbs we get even a better aura around it.
I probably should have played some music in the background. It's like so quiet. I didn't even think about that. My meditation music. And there we have, you can see how this half versus this half, what a difference it is. But one of the fun things about doing Zentangle is changing color. So say you want to change color. I'm going to change and I'm going to use a brown bookmark and I'm going to use a, the brown Sakura 01 pen. And I'm going to do the same thing. And this time I'm going to give it so that I have a little bit more room. So I'm going to start and I'm going to start my elegant. And it kind of dips to one side. Have a comment, Wendy. Yes. Tracy would like to know what your motivation is to tangle every day. Well, I like to, Tracy wants to know what my motivation is to tangle every day. And I'll have to be honest, it's because I film a YouTube channel. But I know on days that I don't feel like tangling is the days I need to even more. Um... I think it boosts my mood and um, it helps me get through those times. And I use it to meditate. And I, I really feel like that um, when I take time to kind of center myself and meditate and I tangle, I am a much happier person. And most of you know that I've had some health issues and um, which was a big surprise. I think anytime you're diagnosed with with a cancer, you kind of go through a, um, you know, how's this happening to me and why is this happening to me? And I have used my Zentangle art recently to kind of help me come to terms with that. But before, I just used it, um, I just find that I enjoy that meditative process. Even if I only do one like one little bookmark or one little um, a tile, I I find that that I just feel better, and I don't know, don't really even care how it looks. The other day at class, we took I all the tangled tiles. I don't know. I'm gonna just gonna show you some. I there are always a bunch of tiles that you have that are like partially done and then I, you know, you, I don't finish them. I just started and they're not finished. And, uh, and I set them aside and I just took those to class one day and let somebody else finish my tiles for me. So I always have a stack that are partially done that, you know, you could stick in your purse and, and, or in a, in your art bag, and then you can do them later. Now, see, I'm going to come back to tangling. Uh, I've got this and it's really got that curve to it. So now I'm going to come and I'm going to draw another one just like I did where I made that mistake. And in just the other curved areas. And if you don't have room for three, only do two little bumps. So I'm only going to do two there. And I'm just going to work it so that it just comes up and comes off that side. So I just have an extra. Oh, and this one, it looks like I just drew a circle instead of coming back. So I'm going to kind of fix that. You won't, probably won't notice it. But I'm going to come in and I'm going to add with my gold jelly roll some gold on here just to give it some accent. So I'm just going to come in and you're going to see, I'm just going to put little dots of gold up my stem. And... I had one of my students say she had a hard, and I've had a hard time with jelly rolls. Sometimes they don't want to work. 
And um, she said she heats hers up and um, it helps them work. Well, I tried this. I got, I have this little rice bag here that's a little um, bag. I put it in my microwave. If I'm cold, I warm up. This is a small one that was a gift to me. I heat that up and then I take my jelly roll and I lay it inside of here and warm it up really good and it helps that ink flow. I noticed on my on my silver or uh, gold that sometimes they kind of separate, the metallic separates from the liquid and then that allows you, and then you can shake them and that allows them to join back together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put more dots. And you can see how fun that is to have that gold on there. Another fun thing is to come in here and just put a circle in the center of your elegant and then fill that in with gold. And I like to aura it first and not just put it in, I like to have my pen, my brown pen is going to put it the aura first, and then I'm gonna come back and fill in with the jelly roll. It just gives it a little um, highlight for me. That's just my preference, but you don't need to, but you can see that you get um, just some fun, um, different texture with it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and aura this. After I get through with my little dots, I could aura that. But I'm going to go back and um, put a few more dots going just up this side all the way around. It's kind of going to be aura. That's all a hard word with little dots. This is just an alternative of something that you can do. You can just aura the whole thing with little dots. I'm gonna bring back in some that I already have completed so you can kind of see them. On the gray tile here, I shaded with a white pencil and you can see I've done the striping through the whole thing. This one, the bookmark, I put a little, um, um, border around it. This gray one, it's not finished yet, but it'll get finished. You can see I started doing that same technique that I was doing before. I striped it with my white pen and, and I'll go back. I just really had fun with it. There's the one in the round that I shaded with, um, with my gray pencil. Here's a black one that I shaded with a white pencil. And on the black, it kind of gives it that blue iridescent look. And here's one that I did on a brown paper where I had the gold and I striped it. And then you can see I aura the whole thing. I hope you enjoy Elegant. And um, we have to thank Tangle Dreams. I always want to give credit to, um, to those who design the tangles and allow me to share them online. And... Uh, I see I've got followers from Denmark. Hey, my family's from Denmark, so um, I don't speak any Danish, but I have um, my my last name was Melikum, so my maiden name. But uh, thanks again for watching. Comment. Yes, my husband has a comment. There's one important uh, comment here from Tracy. I think it was Tracy. She says she would like to know where you draw and do you leave your uh, supplies out. I made a comment. <laughs> oh, dear. My husband made a comment. I leave my supplies out. Yes, I, I'm i fortunate. I have in my home, I have a studio, and um, it is, um, and I it's cluttery, and I have all my pens out. If you guys really want to see, I would show you. It's, it's really cluttery, but I'll show you. I'll turn the camera so that you can see my my desk where I actually draw. So you're going to see, um, oh, you see that there's the computer, that's where I'm drawing. And it's there's- sideways, right? Oh, it's sideways. Well, here, let me help you. 
There's my computer. Okay, there. Okay, I'll, and my husband, I need to back up. Okay, I have like pins and stuff out over on that end. Then I have my pins. And I have, um, these are my cases of pins. And I have a bunch of pencils. And there's my, my printer and uh, my station where I um, have my orders. When you order, I fill from there. And um, so that's that's kind of it. And then I, I do have a bunch of cabinets above where stuff really should be hidden, but it it's never never put away. So I don't know. It's semi neat and tidy. Am I gonna be going the right direction? Yeah, I am. I wasn't sure I would get my camera going back the right direction. So yes, Tracy, I, I leave my stuff out most of the time. I do, I do have to tell you that I, I carry in my purse, I have a little bag that um, is, that I bought that has all my, my pens and different things in it that is usually loaded. So I have this in one purse and then, then I have this one in another bag with all my, my stuff in there with pencils and, and so I try to have a travel, something that I can travel with. So when I um, go somewhere, I, I never go without having something to draw because I never know if I'm going to need that relief of, you know, lose a little tension. And I, for some of you know, I, I when I go to church, I always take my Zentangle and I draw in church. And my husband said I was distracting the other people were watching me instead of listening to the sermons and the people who are teaching the classes. And um, I decided that's not my fault that they can, you know, if they can't, they can listen, they can watch me and listen. I don't mind. And I have the scriptures, journal scriptures. And I actually, that's why I have them in a small bag. This little small one is that I take it and I journal in the side of my scriptures so, um, and I, I just do it all the time. I just absolutely love it. And, and thanks for joining my first official live YouTube. And we're going to close for now. And my suggestion is that you tangle every day. Your brain will thank you for it. And thanks again for watching and have a great day.